So this is the Nernst equation video. What is the Nernst equation? Well, it's used to work out the voltage for non-standard cells. So a very, very quick refresher on the standard cell or voltaic cell. I've got an aluminium electrode in a solution of its ions, one molar is standard. I have an iron electrode in a solution of its ions, one mole per decimeters cubed, that's standard. It's at 298 Kelvin, standard temperature. Where did I get these two half equations from? Well, from the data booklet on page 23, you can see uh, there's aluminium and there's iron. How do I know that I have to flip this one round, flip the most negative, flip the one that's higher up on this list? So you flip that one round, and in a slight departure from the way I taught it before, but it gives you the same answer, if I flip that one round, I'm going to change the sign on that. So it's going to go from minus 1.66 to plus 1.66, 1.66 volts. This one I didn't flip, so I'm going to keep the sign the same, minus 0 0.45 volts. And to work out the voltage of the cell, add them up, 1.21 volts. Fantastic. If I want the equation for the cell, uh, I'm going to have to fix those electrons. I'm making three there and using two there. So if I double the aluminium and I triple the iron, then I'm going to get the equation for the cell. Okay, so there's a little bit of a lie. Uh, it turns out that in standard level, this is fine. In higher level, rather cheekily, these equilibrium arrows that you removed come back again. And this is an equilibrium as well. Don't tell the SL kids. Alrighty, so how could I increase the voltage of this cell? Well, you could toy with messing around with the temperature, or you could toy with messing around with the concentrations. According to Le Chatelier's theory, if you stress an equilibrium, the equilibrium will move to oppose the stress. If I increase the amount of iron two ions, I'm going to push the equilibrium more that way, and that's going to increase the voltage. And if I reduce the concentration of aluminium 3 plus ions, the equilibrium will also shift to the right, and that will increase the voltage. So the Nernst equation uh, involves buggering around, excuse me, involves messing around with the temperature and messing around with the concentrations of the ions in the solutions. We don't include uh, in the Nernst equation how much aluminium and how much iron metal there is. Alrighty, so here is the Nernst equation. E equals E theta minus Richard Thornley, gas constant times temperature over NF ln Q. Hell's bells, that looks complicated. Well, the good news is that it's in the data booklet. But there's bad news too. There it is in the data booklet. The bad news is you have to memorize what all of that gubbins is. All right. So E is the voltage for the new non-standard cell that you're creating. So this is the new voltage. E theta, well, that's the standard voltage. Uh, in our case, the standard voltage E theta was 1.21 volts, if you calculated before getting messy. R, that's the gas constant. That's okay. The gas constant is in the data booklet. T is the temperature. Uh, you've got to get that in Kelvin, otherwise you're going to have a problem there. We might give it to you in degree C, then you have to convert to Kelvin. N, N is the number of electrons uh, moving around in this equation. So if you remember, there are six electrons jumping around. Uh, just double checking, two aluminiums go to two aluminium three plus, yeah, there's a difference of six electrons. So N is the number of electrons in the equation. And what the F is F? Well, F is Faraday's constant. That's Planck's constant, Faraday's constant here. Again, that's in the data booklet. And ln Q, Q is a 
the reaction quotient. If you remember, that was the equilibrium constant, but using non-equilibrium values. So that would be this raised to the power of those divided by that raised to the power of those. Well, it's not quite so simple. Uh, when it comes to Q and KC, you're allowed to ignore the solids. So it's actually going to be the concentration of this squared products divided by the concentration of that cubed reactants. Let's try a question then. So let's say that the concentration of this is 2 moles per decimeter cubed and the concentration of the aluminium ions is 0 0.1 moles per decimeters cubed. So this is above 1, it's going to force the equilibrium that way and that's below 1 and so the equilibrium also is going to be forced over that way. So hopefully if we change these from the standard concentration of 1 to 2 and 0.1, the voltage of my battery will be increased, the voltage of this cell. All righty, uh, and I suppose I'll specify the temperature, which is, let's say, 298 Kelvin. All right, so how are we going to do this? E is what I'm trying to find, the new voltage for this cell. That's my standard electrode potential for the cell, which is 1.21 minus R, which according to the data booklet, the gas constant is 8.31 multiplied by the temperature given in the question 298 divided by the number of electrons involved in the equation the transferring and that was six electrons Faraday's constant is 9.65 times 10 to the 4 Smack all of that into brackets, and now we've got ln Q. Now remember, Q is like Kc. We can ignore the solids. So that's going to be the concentration of that 0 0.10 squared. Don't forget the coefficient becomes the exponent. Divided by the reactants, which is going to be 2.00 cubed. <whistles> all righty. Let's have a go. Okay, let's do the calculation then. So 0.1 times 0.1 divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. That's that number there. Let me lon it. All righty. Now I'm going to take the top of the equation, multiply by 8.31, multiply by 298. Excitement continues. Divide by 6. Divide by 9.65 times 10 to the 4 equals. Whew, okay, so that, it's not much extra volts, is it? All righty. Change the sign, add 1.21. So my voltage is, well, I've not been paying many attention, I've not been paying much attention to sig figs, but... That's three, that's three, that's three, that's two, that's three sig figs, three sig figs. That looks like one sig fig, but it isn't. It's exactly six. So that's infinite sig figs. So really, I should report my answer to two significant figures, which would be 1.2. Boom. How can I fix this? I'll put a zero here and a zero here. I'm changing my question, I'm allowed to do that. So now I'm going to report to three significant figures. And so I'm going to get 1.24 volts. Not that much of an increase in voltage. So, look at, so let's look at something called a concentration cell. Let's think of probably the most useless voltaic cell you could have. That's not going to do diddly, is it? 
this half cell and that half cell, well, let's assume it's copper 2 plus. This half cell and that half cell have the same standard electrode potential, so that means that there's going to be no voltage there. Well, the Nernst equation to the rescue, because if you use different concentrations of, in this case, copper 2 plus ions, then you are going to get a very tiny, unexciting voltage. So let me do the cell diagram. But instead of using one mole per decimeter cubed, let's change the concentration in this concentration cell. So I'm going to make one of them 0.1 and the other one 0 0.001. I'm going to give up on my sig figs for this, just for clarity's sake. The IB does it all the time. Okay, so I've got E equals E theta minus RT over N F ln Q in the data booklet. E is what I'm trying to find. And I'm going to assume 298. They really should say that in the question somewhere. The standard electro potential for this cell is a big fat zero. But this long Q and these other data here might give us a little extra voltage. So it's that times 298 divided by, well, how many electrons are jumping around here? There's, there's two. Faraday's constant, 96500 multiplied by ln, well, now we come to a bit of a screeching halt. Are the electrons going this way, the electrons going that way, anode, cathode? The smallest number goes here, and the biggest number goes there. So the smallest number is 0 0.001, and the biggest number is 0.1. All righty. It's not much of a voltage, but let's see what it is. Uh, and I don't need to raise it to any exponentials here because the equation for this cell is all ones. One of these, one of those, one of the other. It's all one, one, one. So I don't have to square it or cube it like I did before. So I've got 0 0.001 divided by 0.1 equals, take the long, let's go along the top, times 8.31 times 298 divided by 2 divided by 96500 wallop. Change the sign, and you have an impressive, ignoring sig fig rules, 0 0.059 volts. What are you going to do with that? Not much.